Future tenses will be going to present continuous future continuous We can express future using future simple I will help you I think she will call me Then using going to He is going to spend his holiday in London I'm going to be an actor when I grow up Another way to express future is with present continuous I'm having the meeting this afternoon He is flying to London on Monday at 6 Future continuous is also one way of speaking about future They'll be shopping all afternoon Tom will be attending the conference next month. So, what is the difference between these ways of expressing future? Let's see. First, let's see how to form future simple. We form the future simple with will and the bare infinitive. A verb without to will is used for all persons Susan will post the letters tomorrow morning I will see you tomorrow affirmative I will phone you will phone he will phone she will phone we will phone. They will phone. Interrogative. Will you phone? Will he phone? Will she phone? Will we phone? Will they phone? Negative. I will not phone. You will not phone. He will not phone. She will not phone. We will not phone. They will not phone. We use the future simple. On the spot decisions, the action is decided at the moment of speaking. The phone is ringing. Okay, I will answer. Predictions based on what we think. The weather tomorrow will be sunny. Promises. I promise, I will not tell Tom about the surprise party. Offers. I will help you with this. Signal words used with, the future simple. Believe, sure, hope. Think, expect, probably, possibly, perhaps. I'm sure, I will do it on time. I think, the film will be great. Going to is not a tense, but it is a special structure, that we also use, to talk about the future. The structure of going to is Subject, plus, be, plus, going to, plus, infinitive verb I am going to swim You are going to swim He is going to swim she is going to swim. It is going to swim. 
We are going to swim. They are going to swim. We use going to. Plans and intentions. I am going to buy a new car next year. This is my plan for the next year. Predictions based on what we see or know. Look at those dark clouds. It is going to rain. As we could see, we use both, will and going to, for prediction. So, what is the difference between these two uses? Let's look at these examples. The weather tomorrow will be sunny. Look at those dark clouds. It is going to rain. In the first sentence, we used future simple, because we predict about the weather tomorrow based on what we think. We only think that it will be sunny, but there is no evidence. In the second sentence, we see the dark clouds, and we predict that it is going to rain. Present continuous for future. We can also use the present continuous for future. As we know, the structure of the present continuous is subject plus be plus main verb plus ing. I am swimming. You are swimming. He is swimming. She is swimming. It is swimming. We are swimming. They are swimming. When we want to use the present continuous for future, we must add a future word, tonight, tomorrow, next week, etc. The present continuous is used for fixed arrangements in the near future. That means, we have already made a decision, and a plan before speaking, and we are pretty sure, that the event will happen. Let's look at this example. I am having the meeting at 8 o'clock this evening. What does this mean? It means, that I am definitely having the meeting, I have made this plan, before speaking. Usually, the present continuous for future is used when we know the time and the place. We are flying to Madrid on Monday. This means we have already bought the tickets. We know where and when we are going. The future continuous is used a lot by the English speakers. Here's how to make it. Will be plus, verb, ing. I will be swimming. You will be swimming. He will be swimming. She will be swimming. It will be swimming. We will be swimming. They will be swimming will be, is used for all persons. We use the future continuous tense, to indicate that a longer action in the future, will be interrupted by a shorter action in the future. Here are some examples. I will be watching TV when you arrive home. Tom will be waiting for you when your bus arrives.
It is also used for an action, which will be in progress at a stated future time. For example, this time next year, we will be traveling around the world. At 8 o'clock, I'll be eating dinner. We often use a series of parallel actions to describe atmosphere at a specific point in the future. When I arrive at the party, everybody will be celebrating. Some people will be dancing, others will be talking. A few will be eating pizza, and some people will be drinking beer. 